Aloha everyone, this is Max with Asian Geek Squad. Welcome to our day 13 video with our Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. Today we're going over three things. First up is force restart. So when your tablet is acting up and you just need to restart it. Number two, we're gonna go over Gmail and Android apps on the Tab S8 Ultra. And for the last part of this video, we're gonna go over keyboard shortcuts so you can quick launch stuff like Samsung Notes. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. All right, first part of this video is force restart. Basically, whenever your tablet is acting up, for me, yesterday afternoon, I could not unlock my tablet. The fingerprint sensor was located in the middle, even though we know it's here on the right side, and I couldn't unlock via pin. To do a force restart, all you have to do is hold the power down button and the volume down button, and just hold it and hold it, and it will eventually restart. And I'll show you how to do it here as well. So all you do is hold the power button and the volume down. You just ignore that screen. Now once the screen is off, you can let go of the two buttons. And it will actually restart on its own. Any second now. There it goes. <laughs> All right, now that it's restarting, I'll just fast forward through this part. Next up, I wanna talk about Gmail and apps in general and why you should uninstall them. So Gmail, for example, here on Edge, looks like this. Yeah, kinda sad. Gmail on Edge looks a little bit better, but still looks like this. The Gmail application is nice, but it's missing the signature here. So for me, my recommendation is Samsung Internet. You log into Gmail and it just looks like a web browser like you would have in a computer, including your signature, which is crazy to me how Google, you made this operating system, why can't you just go to Gmail desktop and have it look like this? One of the things I did to set up my tablet is I use Smart Switch. It populated all of my smartphone apps here on the Tab S8 Ultra. You should just delete most of these applications or don't even download them at all. For example, let's look at Amazon. <laughs> this is the Amazon browsing experience on your application. You're just much better going to amazon.com on your browser. Here is the Best Buy application. Even when we maximize the screen, this is what we get. And our tablet just restarted on its own. So just uninstall these apps and use a regular web browser. Samsung is a guilty party in this too. Let's check out the shop Samsung app. And it's nice that it opens up full screen, but this is kind of ridiculous. Once you click on a link, it does take you more of a de desktop-like experience. It's just a homepage that's a little weird. That's our quick note on Gmail and uninstalling applications. Next up is keyboard shortcuts, and let's just go through them. Along the top, we have App 1, App 2, and App 3. I have assigned Samsung Notes to App 1. So all you have to do is hold function and App 1, and Samsung Notes will launch. If you wanna assign an application to an app, open the application. So I'm gonna go ahead and assign Shop Samsung to application two. Hold function and hold app two for at least three seconds. And you'll see a little note here, Shop Samsung has been assigned. So now we have app one, Samsung Notes, and function app two is Shop Samsung. And you can assign these to any applications. Just make sure you open the application first and assign by holding the function and the corresponding application number you want. Next up here is all of your apps, function F4. You can also just push command and it does the same exact thing. So function F4 or just command. Next up here is this three lines, which is the same as these three lines, which are your recent applications. So function F5, the recent application is useful, but I find that the close all feature is more useful. Next one is your desktop. So function F6, and that will show your desktop. F7 and F8 are lowering and increasing your brightness. F9 is silence. 
F10 and F11 is increase and lower the volume. F12 is to brighten up your keyboard. There are three settings, and it might not show here because it's very bright, um, but there are three levels of brightness to the keyboard, so function F12. The Finder button here is nice if you want to search something on your Tab S8, or function Finder, and that goes into your settings. To the left of the Delete button, you have a screenshot, if you want to take a screenshot, and it's also available right here next to the notification. So this one right here where the green arrow is, that's also a screenshot. If you want to leave Dex, function Dex, or if you want to go into Dex, function Dex. There's a couple other things here at the bottom. For me, since I use a mouse, I turn off the keypad, and you can do that by using function spacebar. And you'll see here touchpad turned on, so I can move my touchpad, or I can use the mouse, or the cursor, and then function spacebar to turn it off. And now there's no movement of the arrow. If you type in different languages, you can just tap on the language button here to the right of spacebar. I write in English and Spanish because I'm taking Spanish class. Or if you're typing, shift and spacebar will also shift between English and Spanish. And you'll know which language you're typing in because here it, it will show as EN or ES. And that's another way to change the language, it's just by clicking on it. There's one more shortcut here, and that's function tab. So if you want to use your keyboard, for example, as a Bluetooth keyboard for your for another phone, just hold function tab. However, it will disable your Bluetooth settings for this device. So I won't be able to use my mouse if I turn that on. So I'm not going to turn it on. All right, guys, so that's our quick video for today. Force restart, Gmail, applications, and keyboard shortcuts. If you guys have any questions, leave us a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Aloha.